we were looking at what I call dead cat. I was happy with a song. I want to live above the world. Do Satan stars help me out for feathers called a joyful song. The song of sins on higher grounds. This is where my focus is. Uh, of course, if you look at dead cats, uh, politicians are very good at this kind of antics. Uh, maybe there's a scatter that they are boiled in, and they just threw a dead cat on the table so that people begin to talk about the dead cat and then forget about uh, the issue that is <laughs> really the one that is, that I see the public imagination. And I think this also has a lot to do with animal rights. I mean, the Zuma example comes to mind, the English football player who was kicking and beating his cat, and it became a very big issue. I mean, look at the kind of hefty fine you know, uh, that he was given. I also remember, uh, I think, uh, some months back, you know, uh, a cat also had been is it killed in the environment where I live. And you can imagine these guys you know, raising hell, making it look like that, you know, they saying all kinds of unprintable things about the individual. You know, sometimes animal rights are taken to extremes when human rights are actually not even, are even completely neglected. But that's not actually where we're going. Where we're going is, you know, um, you know uh, the parable of the sower. Uh, and the Lord was using it to illustrate when the cares of this life can actually be problematic. Mark chapter 4, verse 19. But the worries of this life, the deceitfulness of wealth, and the desire for other things come in and choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. So you hear the word, and then you have this hunger and test to become as rich as possible, even if it means you know, oppressing other people on your road to riches. And that can actually be you know, the pain of your faith, and you want to avoid that. You know, so do not put too much emphasis on you know, these worldly things. I mean, they're important. We need to put food on the table. But it shouldn't become our consuming passion. Our consuming passion should be living for Christ, making sure that we make heaven. You know, so those, don't let us be distracted by any dead cat you know, on our way to the kingdom.